traders at GB expect an upward reprisal across board with emphasis on the short dated maturities given the aggressive stance of the Central Bank of Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee. Chukan Wachuku, head of ALM and Balance Sheet Management at GBA, joins me now for more market updates. Chuka, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Let's talk about market movements we've seen since the MPC's announcement, the upward rate hike and adjustments to the CRR and also the asymmetric corridor. Hello, Chuka. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Well, we'll just take a look at how the local bonds is trading at this moment. Out stocks are trading at the Nigerian Exchange. Now, we've re established connection with Chuka Wachuku, head of ALM and balance sheet management at UBA. Chuka, thank you so much for joining us. Let's talk about market movements we've seen so far since the MPC's announcement yesterday. Yeah, thank you, David. Um, market has reacted to, um, to the results um, of the MPC meeting. Um, so we saw um, at the meeting, anyway, we saw about 400 basis points movement in MPR from, uh, uh, you know, uh, at the at the, at the um, MPC meeting. Uh, but let me quickly just talk about liquidity because liquidity has actually been key in terms of uh, trading. So, system liquidity opened um, in negative of 600 billion, uh, despite the fact that the fact was paid yesterday. Uh, we see C, um, um, system C very tight. We saw rates uh, hover between 19% to 25%. Um, coming to the fixed income side, uh, we saw bearish sentiment in all, um, uh, all uh, maturities of uh, both treasury bills and bonds. Uh, we saw particular um, interest, especially on the T bills, the, the one, one year. Um, we saw serious sell off. Um, also, on the bond side, uh, across all maturity, especially with um, the bonds that are on auction, uh, we saw, um, you know, bearish sentiment all through. And of course, this has to do with the, uh, the increment of uh, NPR from uh, about uh, 400 basis points. Yes, and looking ahead now, because the next conversation I'll be having with you is going to be in the month of March. A whole lot of analysts also having a uh, forecast that we might see about a 200 to 300 basis uh, rate hike when we're looking at the adjustments to the NPR, even going further with this hawkish stance of the CBN. Let's talk about the sizes of auction, subscription levels that we might likely see, and what's to come in March. Uh, well, um, the, the, uh, on, on the on the on the fixed income side, uh, we expect reaction. Um, like I said earlier, bearish sentiment. Um, on the next week will be uh, um, the first uh, NTB auction after the CBM meeting. Uh, we expect to see uh, increase in in yield as well in rate. Um, the last one year printed at 19 uh, percent. Um, so we expect to see. Um, you said to see the next uh, one year uh, at the next auction prints within that range. Um, on the bond side, um, like I said earlier, is bearish sentiment. Um, most traders are very cautious, knowing fully well that uh, there will be another NPC meeting exactly a month from now. And then, of course, uh, CBN will have to watch to see the reaction of, um, uh, of the outcome of um, yesterday's uh, um, announcement and then um, take it from there. And while we're still expecting the gradual appreciation of the Naira to set in, how do you think the pendulum would swing against the Naira and the Greenback? Yeah, um, so throughout last week and then um, um, early this week, CBN has usually intervened in the market. 
Uh, we saw the at the MPC meeting as well the communique by the CBN governor um, indicating that um, they are aggressively going to intervene, especially with the uh, the policy around the BDC. So this will help ease the uh, demand pressure. Um, this will also help uh, you know decrease the. Um, the skyrocketing uh, exchange rate. Um, currently, uh, NAFM is trading around uh, one um, one thousand six fifteen. Uh, we hope that uh, you know, with the subsequent days, with the measures put in place, um, this will uh, continue to trend downward. Well, we'll definitely watch and see the near-term impact of the rate decision that we've seen from the Central Bank of Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee and as we also build up momentum to the next meeting. It's quite a close call, but we'll leave the conversation here for now, Chika. Thank you so much for your time. That was Chika Wachuku, head of ELM and Balance Sheet Management at UBA.